Okay, in this video I'm just going to talk about an application of the cross product. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about finding the magnitude or the length of the cross product. And the theorem says um, if theta is the angle between um, vector A and vector B, um, and again this, should, this is an angle um, inclusive between 0 and pi, it says then the magnitude or the length of that cross product it says we take the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times sine theta. So, um, forgive my little picture here, so a couple, let me describe what's going on here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the magnitude of what's called the torque vector. And if you listen to truck commercials, at least here in the United States, they always talk about the torque of the truck, you know, and that's a, wow, it's got a big torque, okay? so. So anyways, okay, in this problem, imagine your car breaks down, right, and you have to fix the flat tire. So you have to take, so forgive my horrible little picture. So suppose here's the little bolt on your tire, and here's the wrench. Um, and, right, to get the bolt off, right, you push, um, well, actually suppose we're putting, putting the bolt back on, rather. Um, so what we do is um, we apply a force down right on this wrench and that actually has the effect of somehow pushing the bolt um, downward um, or in, in, in real life it would put you know tighten the bolt onto your car so what we want to do is suppose that you have a nine inch wrench um, and you're pushing down with a 20 pounds of force and suppose you're pushing at an angle of 80 degrees to the wrench. So you're not pushing exactly straight down. Maybe you're at a little bit of an angle, so you're kind of applying the force uh, not quite perpendicular. Well, if we represent the wrench by a vector r, and if we represent the um, force here um, just as by a vector f, it says torque is going to be equal to the cross product of these two vectors. And it says the magnitude of the torque, it says we take the magnitude of vector r times the magnitude of uh, vector f times uh, sine of the angle between them. And again, the angle, because we can move vectors around, so this is our equivalent to being our vector f. So again, the angle is going to be 80 degrees between these. So to compute this, all we have to really do is plug in our numbers. So it says the magnitude of the torque is going to be equal to the magnitude of basically the wrench, which in English units they use foot pounds. So 9 inches out of 12 inches, that's going to be 3 fourths or 0.75. Um, well, let's go ahead and plug it in. So it'll be uh, 0.75, that'll be the magnitude or the length of the wrench and then it says we multiply that by the magnitude of the force vector um, but well if we're applying 20 pounds uh, that would be the value and then it says we have to multiply that by sine of 80 degrees and that's going to be how much torque that's going to be the magnitude of the torque um, so it kind of quantifies how much with how much force this bolt is getting pushed into the tire okay so how well are you tightening up your your tire and when I computed all of this I got the value uh, so roughly equal to it says the magnitude is 14.77 um, in this case foot-pounds okay would be the magnitude of the torque all right, so just kind of a little application of the cross product and what it's good for. I hope this video helps, makes some sense. Um, if not, feel free to post comments and hopefully uh, me or somebody else can sort it out.